Sorry, I just had to get some light in here, man. It's kind of dingy in here. So the first time I heard about the surf ranch was through Chico. Actually, the first time I heard about anything that was going on in Nicaragua was through Chico because he's basically the only guy that I know of, I think, uh, in the skate world that I know of um, from Nicaragua. That's close to me anyway, especially because of his uh, uh, Nica Please stuff and all the stuff he's doing with chocolate and the store central down there that he was doing with. So when uh, Jose Rojo um, told me that he was going to Nicaragua with Chico because Chico would always go down every, I think he probably still does. He goes down every year, I guess, to do these things. He just had one. Um, he brings a couple dudes down usually and we go, they go skating and go to the, the surf ranch. I told him I was, I'm in, I wanted to go because I'd never been to Nicaragua before and you know, I'm always down for a new place. So, uh, when I hit cheeks up, he was like, yeah, absolutely. So I was in. So first time I heard about the surf ranch was when he told us what we were doing when we would go down there. I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't a gnarly schedule or anything and it was, uh, you know, beach vibes most of the time. Surf Ranch was sick. There was, uh, the skate park was awesome. I mean, it's super user friendly. Little uh, rail, bump to rails and like hub like, like ledges and little trannies and stuff, which is sick for uh, um, kids and stuff. So we were just messing around on that thing for a while. Rented a place and then we went from there to the Surf Ranch and we stayed there for a couple days. And then we just, you know, skated and swam, sick pool sick pool i mean it was raining crazy though raining on and off at least outside of the surf ranch there was like a, a kind of like a river ish valley type thing where you had to you know when you drive over you drive you drive down and up it's like it's, it's just like a road but it, it it goes you go through it this way and it goes that way so when uh it because it rains so much after we skated, it just started dumping down and we were just going swimming and stuff and like, it was coming down like heavy. Uh, and then we, all right, it's nighttime, so we gotta go back to, we're gonna leave. We drive out and there is this raging river through that little uh, dip in the road. Like, I don't even know how deep it was. Actually, I, I do know because we had to walk through it, but at the time we didn't. We were nervous that the car would just get uh, pushed down the stream wherever the river was going. All this rainwater coming down on gnarly, still dumping down. So we like stopped at it, and me and uh, I can't even remember who, Jose or someone. And this little kid, some little random kid, he went through it, and me and Jose were like, oh God, I'm trying to get sucked away in this water. It was pretty deep, man. But whatever, that was gnarly because I mean, I thought the thing was gonna go. But then this guy on a bike came and was like talking to us about frogs or something. And then he just literally, I think he just went right through it. Just whatever. We're just being <laughs> sensitive uh, foreigners. We didn't want to die, but whatever. We finally got through it. It was uh, pretty sick. Um, Fun though, man. But yeah, the surf ranch was rad. Nice dudes. I'd definitely go back. Um, I heard they opened a new one, which is awesome because if, I mean, more of those things the better. I mean, so it, relaxing, you know? Skating and swimming and just hanging. Nice. Good closer, I'll put this down.